sitting on the slack line. Our slack lines are not thongs, so do not try to wear it. <laughs> Yoga slacker policy is if you wear it, you buy it. Slacklining in general is a climber's hobby, and we were rock climbers to begin with, Dan and I. We also practice a lot of yoga to get better at our climbing, and so we then decided to put these two things together. And the more you think about it, the more you realize that once you step onto that line, everything else melts away and you're totally just drawn into one focus point. So it's a really key tool for meditation. There's no cheating the line. Like You can make Warrior Two look really beautiful on the ground, but still be thinking about 15 other things on the line. <laughs> you're 100% on the line or you're not on the line anymore. One day we're like, what about if we just get rid of all the setup completely and we just hold on to the lines ourselves? So we created this idea of a human line. So like with yoga, you're kind of working with the earth, right? And yourself. With the line, you're really just working with yourself. Uh, with acrobatics, you're working with a partner. <laughs> and with that crazy human line stuff you see us doing, you're working with a whole group of people. Being able to share this practice is amazing. So in Wanderlust, we actually get to watch these students for the next couple days continue to work on their skills. It looked like it was going to be kind of easy just because they made it look easy, but then it was just like, nope, joke's on you. <laughs> You're going to fall a lot. <laughs> what we like to do though is when we have one thing that's difficult, we have another thing that's difficult, is we try to mash them together and make something extremely difficult. Black <laughs>